All right, 447 our time right now looking at the latest here with Hurricane Laura as it continues to work its way on into parts north of Lake Charles toward Derrida, Louisiana, heading up toward the Fort Polk area as well. You can see uh, the eye is kind of starting to collapse a little bit there. Winds are down from 150 to 120. And it's moving north at 15. The pressure 948 millibars will continue to work its way northward here and continue to rapidly weaken now versus rapidly strengthening. Landfall was again at 1 a.m. with 150 mile per hour winds in Cameron, Louisiana. You can see the level of the rain tied in with this as well too as it works its way north here eventually up toward the Shreveport area and the rain bands continue to stretch all the way to Baton Rouge area too and eventually that feeder band is going to work its way into parts of the New Orleans area. But you can see kind of zooming on in. There's Lake Charles, the back edge of the eye wall now coming through Lake Charles to Quincy in the middle of the eye and then out to Ritter getting the northern part of the eye wall. Same for Fort Polk. So those areas are really going to get hit hard with those 120 mile per hour winds. I saw one wind gust in Lake Charles at the airport there just over 130 about 134 mile per hour wind gusts. So just incredible amount of wind coming on in and one of the strongest uh, reported wind gusts inland that we've seen here in a long time with uh, the storm as it continues to move on in. You can still see here again the intense as the eye wall still mainly on the eastern side here as it works its way to the north. We have tornado warnings. We've got severe thunderstorm warnings, significant wind, of course, too. But if you notice down along the coast in Cameron, not as much rain starting to fall there, but the significant coastal flooding is going to be the issue there. If you look also toward the uh, Beaumont area, they didn't get on the worst of the eye. Still some very heavy rains, likely surge flooding Sabine Pass, Port Arthur area over toward Anahuac area there. They did kind of lift luck out, not getting too much rain in Galveston Bay at all from this area, but now those heavy band rains coming on in toward Opelousas, Lafayette area as well. You saw where Ton is heading over toward Morgan City. Intense rain seen some tornado warnings out there this morning as well, and that band is going to be heading our way as we go through late morning on into the afternoon hours today with some heavy rain, gusty winds, and can't rule out maybe a few tornadoes out there for the day today as well too. So category three, Laura now with winds 120, pressure down to 948 millibars. Expected to get near Shreveport still as a category one by one o'clock this afternoon. Working its way through Arkansas as a tropical storm near Little Rock by 1 o'clock tomorrow morning. And then you can see by 1 o'clock on Friday near Memphis still is a tropical depression and then loses its tropical characteristics. And then heading to the Atlantic Ocean up toward Canada here, uh, likely is a very strong gale with winds of 45 to 50 miles per hour. So kind of like a nor'easter type system uh, for the summertime actually for them. So they're going to be dealing with all of that as well. Winds locally here 21 gusting to 35 in Canada, 21 gusting to 32 at Lakefront and back to Buras about 15 gusting to 25, gusts to 30 there in Street Gulfport. So we're still going to see some breezy weather out there. 20, 30 mile per hour winds today, gusts about 40 at times from some of the rain bands. So look for the winds to kind of persist across the area. Give you an idea, lakefront wind gust to 20 there. Shell Beach gusting to 30, 29 in Grand Isle, mouth of the river around 21 and Main Pass down there about 25 gusts. So we're just seeing some strong winds indeed. Still looking at coastal flooding concerns up here across the Lake Pontchartrain area, Lake Moripah, back to the Mississippi Sound, Lake Bourne area, Lake Catherine, around two to four feet of water and likely will persist for a while too with that onshore flow down along the coastline. Still storm surge warning four to seven feet there till you get to the river and then east of the river around two to four feet. So we're going to see that water kind of persisting for a while. Looking at the tides out there for today, high tide in Grand Isles at 6 a.m. So we're coming upon high tide right now. So they're going to have some high water levels there. 11 a.m. I-10 at Slidell, 8 a.m. Shell Beach and Lake Bourne area. So we're getting toward that high tide. And of course, low tide will be during the afternoon, 5 to 10 o'clock clock from Grand Isle, Slidell and the Lake Bourne area. So we are going to continue looking at the water coming up, unfortunately. So rainfall totals today, tomorrow about one to five inches of rain possible. Still, there's your surge levels as well. Uh, winds again, 15 to 25 with some higher gusts, about 40 here across the inland areas, 25 to 45 sustained gusting to about 50 close to that of the coast and we can't rule out some tornadoes out there for the day today. So just be prepared for that. And you see rain totals in the next seven days, kind of the bullseye right over Lafayette, Baton Rouge over toward the New Orleans area. Uh, so we're going to still see again potentially one to as much as five inches of rain. So that's something we'll be watching closely here for as we go forward throughout the day today. There is a flash flood watch again in effect. Now does include the New Orleans area and the North Shore as we're still looking at the rainfall totals increasing across our area today. So we're now going to start feeling more of the impact over us as the system moves its way northward. Tornado threat again, weak brief tornadoes. You can see there is a level two risk again for much of Louisiana and parts of uh, western Mississippi, but we're at level one down here. 
So I can't rule out tornadoes in any of these rain bands today. Be prepared for that. The greater chance is going to be from Monroe back toward Alexandria, Jackson, Mississippi, Greenville, Mississippi, up toward Memphis, Tennessee area and the Delta there, Mississippi. So they're going to see that toward Baton Rouge, but we still have a chance here for some of these storms to produce tornadoes. So like we were yesterday interrupting you for some of those tornado wings, we could do that again potentially today, so be aware of that. Uh, but Baton Rouge area definitely has a greater chance of those than we will here. Precision cast does show you can see again with those bands of heavy rain by 7 a.m. near Baton Rouge. Again, over there you can see is where the hurricane continues to work its way north near Shreveport by lunchtime today. We'll see more of these bands of rain coming across our area. And then as the storm continues to track northward and additional bands are continue to move on through. Some of these will be heavy by 3 o'clock this afternoon. And as we headed to tonight, the storm moves to the north, but we still have some of those feeder bands wrapping into it. So as we get to Friday, we'll still see some scattered showers and thunderstorms across our area as well too.